I hope everybody will have a great time with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live here at the Coro Hotel to meet our 10 gorgeous gentlemen for the first time. I am your host, Dino O. Pilipinas, first runner-up, John Michael Suelo, and welcome to Mr. Universe Tourism 2019 Official Session and Dress Launch. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will not keep you waiting. May we call on our president of Morgan Entertainment Ventures, the one and only Dr. Jovel B. Barnelia. A round of applause, please. Simply because the loving press are the ones giving the candidates the mileage. The press gives the event the substance, the content. Without the press, without you people, the event will just be a plain and simple gathering of acquaintances. A simple cocktail. It's like an alcoholic drink without a spirit. If there's no spirit in an alcoholic drink, it's not an alcoholic drink at all. The press are the souls of pageantry. Yes, there are beautiful and gorgeous kings and queens. There are organizers sprouting like mushrooms, creating pageants left and right. There will be sponsors supporting the events. But without the press, messages will not be conveyed. Advocacy will just be mere utterances. Press are like bridges. They connect the gap between the pageant and the pageant enthusiasts. Press people are the pageant itself. You are the pageant itself. You are the noble individuals behind every success of any pageant. Without you people, we are just a show. A show that will be applauded, but can easily be forgotten. Mabuhay po kayo. Kayo ang nagpapalakas ng loob namin para ipagpatuloy ang sining ng pagandahan. In English, long live to all of you, press people. You are the reason and the source of courage. You are the voice that tells us pageant organizers to continue with our job in creating the art of pageantry, a remarkable craft. Mabuhay ang mapagpalayang sining ng pamamahayag. Mahal na mahal namin kayo. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Thank you very much, Dr. Jumel Bernina. May we give him a big round of applause once again? Indeed, our dear friends, you are the lifeblood of pageants like Mr. Universe Tourism. And without you guys, of course, we will not be here with all of you tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that everybody is very much excited to see our candidates for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, may we call on stage our Mr. Universe Tourism 2018 Grand Winner. Mr. Prata Kartasasmita of Indonesia to award the sashes to our candidates. Our dear friends, are you all excited and ready to meet our candidates? I'm sure that you are all excited without further ado, ladies 
and jump in. Let's begin with Mr. Universe Tourism, Benny, Mr. Seven Ali. Seven is a 27 year old model and actor in Benny and is also a fitness coach. His favorite color is white. His hobbies are to travel and to play sports. Mr. Universe Tourism Benin, Mr. Zabib Ali. Our next official candidate is Mr. Universe Tourism India, Mr. Tushar Mishra. Tushar is a 23 year old fitness enthusiast who has joined several pageants before such as Mr. Love Now, Mr. Upstate, Mr. India 2016, Beach Body 2019 and Mr. India Universe Tourism. His favorite color is black and likes chicken biryani. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Universe Tourism India, Mr. Tushar Mishra. Our next official candidate is Mr. Universe Tourism Indonesia, Mr. Andrew Dorado Kanenji. Andrew is a 31 year old freelance model and a hotel staff in Bali. He was the first runner up of Putra, Indonesia. His favorite color is black and his favorite food is Renda. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Universe Tourism Indonesia, Mr. Andrew Rorano Kalenji. Let's have Mr. Universe Tourism Myanmar, Mr. Zwemin Khan. Sue is 21 year old editorial model and now taking up a bachelor's degree. His favorite color is black and really loves to eat seafood. His favorite female celebrity is Miss Universe 2015 P.L. Wurzbach. Mr. Universe Tourism in Mark is Mr. Sue Min Khan. Coming up next is Mr. Universe Tourism Nepal. Mr. Kachwal Shrestha. Kachwal is taking up a master's degree in rural development. He is 26 years old and has won model hot Nepal. His favorite color is blue and likes to dance and to act. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Universe Tourism Nepal, Mr. Kachwal Shrestha. Our next official candidate is Mr. Universe Tourism Pakistan. Mr. Bazaar Saeed Sharif. Bazaar is a 31 year old contractor and finished Bachelor of Science in Business Management. His hobbies include going to the gym, running, and driving. His goal is to be a fashion and fitness model. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Universe Tourism Pakistan, Mr. Bazaar Saeed Sharif. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Universe Tourism Philippines, Mr. Kelvin Adunak Presently. Kelvin is a 27-year-old graduate of nursing and works as a caregiver in his province. He is known to be one of the Cordillera hotties even before he joined Mr. Universe Tourism Philippines last year. He loves to play basketball, go hiking and traveling and working out in the gym. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Universe Tourism Philippines, Mr. Kelvin Aguilar Vicente. Our official, next official candidate is Mr. Universe Tourism Switzerland. Mr. David Oliver Keller. Dave is a 25 year old model and has an MBA degree. He won Mr. Working Man Switzerland and has competed in Mr. Working Man International. His favorite color is red and blue and he loves chicken with rice. Mr. Universe Tourism Switzerland is no other than Mr. David Oliver Keller. Our next candidate is Mr. Universe Tourism Thailand, Mr. Soraso Wang Kyu. Soraso likes to be called a store. He is 24 years old and loves playing football and watching movies. His happiest time is whenever he makes someone happy too. He likes the color white and loves to eat steak. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Universe Tourism Thailand, Mr. Sarasa Ramkyu. And the last but not the least, Mr. Universe Tourism Vietnam, Mr. Nguyen Luan. Luan is a 28-year-old interior designer 
He was born in Ho Chi Minh City and likes to sing, draw, and travel. His favorite colors are red, black, and yellow. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Universe Tourism Vietnam, Mr. Huyen Luwa. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our official candidates for Mr. Universe Tourism 2019. Thank you so much to our reigning king, Mr. Rada Marnasasmita, for doing the official session for our candidates. Alright? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, may we now call on our 10 candidates of Mr. Universe Tourism 2019. Starting with Mr. Universe Tourism Benny. Mr. Universe Tourism India. Mr. Universe Tourism Indonesia. Mr. Universe Tourism Myanmar. Mr. Universe Tourism Nepal. Mr. Universe Tourism Pakistan. Mr. Universe Tourism Philippines. Mr. Universe Tourism Switzerland. Mr. Universe Tourism Thailand. Mr. Universe Tourism Vietnam. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our 10 official candidates for Mr. Universe Tourism. Let's give them a big round of For your next segment. Ladies and gentlemen, this wouldn't as well be possible, not only with Dr. Joel Bernilia, but this very important person as well. Ladies and gentlemen, to welcome our newly sash candidates, may we call on our beloved CEO, Mr. Manik Sinabe, for a message to our dear candidates, sir. Unlike my partner, Dr. Bernie, that he has something to read. But me, I've been asking him, can you make one for me? And, wala talaga. But now, um, to the candidates, I hope that this occasion would bring memories. As you know, in all the pageants that we have done, from Mr. Universe Tourism Philippines to Miss T Tourism Philippines to Pinoong Pilipinas, we always promote brotherhood more than competition. Because the competition would just last during the pageant week, but the brotherhood can last forever. Like with Brata, we call him son, and he calls us dad, even though the age is not that far. So again, uh, just to reiterate what Dr. Bernini has mentioned earlier, my sincerest thanks to all of you for being here. I see a lot of very familiar faces, and I'm very thankful for the new faces that I get to see. And I hope that this would be a start of a more fruitful, harmonious relationship between Borgen Entertainment Ventures Company and all of our pageants, and of course, our beloved press people. Again, Thank you, and I hope even with just a very um, little number of candidates, you will still be entertained. I will take this opportunity to welcome you. I to invite you to the swimwear competition happening this Saturday, and for the formal wear competition and the Asian menswear competition, uh, Asian menswear fashion show to be supported by the Fashion Institute of the Philippines together with the formal wear competition. And of course, on Monday will be the coronation night of Mr. Universe Tourism in our home theater, Carlos P. Romano Theater in RCBC. 
So I hope I see everybody there. Thank you so much. All right, thank you very much, Sir Manix Hinabe, the CEO of Warzen Entertainment Ventures. May you give another big round of applause. Thank you so much once again to our dear friends who made it, uh, who made it here tonight. This wouldn't be possible without all of your support. And of course, it is true, and I would have to agree that indeed pageants are not just for the, you know, pageantry, but it's all about brotherhood as well. And I, we also have here one of uh, the Ginoos last time, our Ginoo Filipinas Ambassador of Peace, Cliff Kasumpa from Ipugao. So he's part of the welcoming committee as well. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we would also like to thank our sponsors and partners who made it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to International Travelers Medical Center, the first and only travel health facility in the Philippines. Immune Boosters Company, the medical clinic, the first and only medical concierge facility in the Philippines. Baku Tubasi, Nix Institute of Beauty. And of course, we have here our makeup artist, and of course, the owner of Nix Institute of Beauty, Ms. Nix. So, yeah, no, thank you very much, Ms. Nix. We also have Ms. Chanel, the makeup artist earlier in our events, and Ms. Paige. Thank you so much for all of your support. And thank you also to Fashion Institute of the Philippines, Coro Hotel, the official residence and events venue of Mr. Universe Tourism. Miss Irish, thank you so much. And of course, special thanks to Mr. Dexter Alazas, Mr. Sharon Pamao, Mr. Neil Naas. Thank you so much to all our sponsors. And of course, once again, thank you, thank you to all our Dear friends, for coming here tonight. I know you have a very busy schedule. So ladies and gentlemen, we will not keep you waiting. I'm sure that you are again excited to see our candidates back here on stage. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let us call on our 10 official candidates in Simone Swimwear. Starting with Mr. Universe Tourism Benning. Mr. Universe Tourism India. Universe Tourism 
Here we go, prepare for your next look. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment, to our media friends, like Dr. Chappelle earlier said, that the press is really the reason why Mr. Univer Universalism is still here and still existing. So we would like to ask our media friends right here, please introduce your name from what uh, blog site or page or uh, newspaper, and then what is your first impression? from our candidates. Okay, let's start here. Sir? Sir? Yes, I'm Jay Kata. I'm going to put the joy here. The first question. Candidates. Um, they're kind of there in the English titles. It's easy to take. Thank you so much, sir. Indeed, it's easy to pick because we only have 10 candidates. And who would be next? Okay, let's go over here, ma'am. Hi, uh, I'm Trexie from Air of the Queen. Um, yeah, I, I think they're, they're all very confident and um, they have their own style of posting. Thank you so much, ma'am. And we'll go here at the back, okay? To our media friends here at the back, we will have... Sir? I know you for OK before the way. Okay, I, I can think that uh, they are... Uh, it's a present bunch, and uh, we, we look forward to, to see and to know them uh, in, uh, in coming days. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Indeed, we have an impressive batch of candidates for our Mr. Universe reason. Okay, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Okay, I love the adjectives. Impressive, quality, confident. Yes, and now, okay, I'll have Sir Gilbert, sir. Uh, yeah, my name is Tim from the Daily Tribune. So, uh, the only thing that I know this is that most of them are Asian, but they are also good looking, so yeah, thank you. Good looking, thank you, sir. Sir, may we have you? Okay, right, so we'll go there. <laughs> yes, sir. Sige po, dito tayo. Hello, ma'am. Ikaw yung tinuturo eh. Hi, good evening. I'm Jenny from Magic Mobile. Ang sabi na nga eh. Yeah, I find, I'm, I'm very easy to be, so I, I find them all good looking and confident. And I'm also looking forward to knowing you better uh, in the coming days. And of course, the coronation time. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, thank you, Ed. So, may na din natin yung katabi. Mga katabi mo, sir. Huwag <laughs> ka na mahiya, sir. <laughs> Ikaw, sir. Okay. So, anyone? Sir? Okay. Doon naman tayo sa likod. Sir, ikaw. Would you like to say anything? Hello, uh, my name is Harvey. I'm from Enosa Central. <laughs> So far, I'm going to go to Thailand, the Philippines, and then I'm so far, I'm going to go to the other things like that. So, and also, um, I find them uh, good looking and happy. Thank you so much, sir, for, for the adjectives and indeed, they're good looking and hot. We will go here at the welcoming committee table. We have, of course, the owner of Nick's Institute of Beauty. And she's been with our official candidates and knowing from beauty to experience in pageantry, what can you say, Miss Nix? Um, so far, all of them are actually quite, um, palaban ng bongga po. And then, uh, uh, all of them, I think, are um, capable winners who, as our, um, yung tagline natin is, men of honor, intellect, and substance. Alright, thank you so much. 
And maybe half hour media friends who is here in, in the couch. Sir? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. And while we are still waiting for our candidates, once again, we would like to remind everyone that you may now vote for your darling of the press. We have given the paper <laughs> to all of you. And once again, we would like to thank our sponsors and partners for Mr. Universe Tourism. Thank you so much, of course, to the Nix Institute of Beauty. Thank you so much. They are the official makeup artists of our candidates. Thank you also to Simone Swimwear, International Travelers Medical Center, the first and only travel health facility in the Philippines. Immune Boosters Company, the medical clinic, the first and only medical concierge facility in the Philippines, Baku to Basin. Fashion Institute of the Philippines, Coro Hotel, the official residence and events venue of Mr. Universe Tourism. Thank you so much also to Mr. Dexter Alazas, Mr. Shannon Pamao, and Mr. Neil Laas. I think our candidates are now ready. For their next look, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's begin with Mr. Universe Tourism Bene. Mr. 
Mr. Universal Tourism, Thailand! <laughs> Thank you. 
Do you want to ask any of our other candidates? Oh, they are good. Thank you very much, Mr. Universe Tourism India. Let's have Mr. Universe Tourism Indonesia. And... Tipik Salso Caparas of Mr. Lakers Law. Hi, good evening. Do you believe in the old saying that real men do not cry? Yes or no? Why? Thank you very much for your question. You are most welcome. I believe that everyone deserves to be able to cry, to show their emotion and vulnerability. Hello. Okay, thank you very much. Sir, would you like to ask any of the other candidates a question? Thank you, sir. Let's have Mr. Universe Tourism Myanmar. Yeah. And you picked Mark Tadabe of Sanabria, Philippines. Sir Mark? Uh, okay, for Myanmar, he will have his national director as his interpreter. Uh, okay, so the question will come from Sir Mark. Hello, Mr. Myanmar. My question is, uh, what makes you the best candidate to win this time? Okay, uh, he told that, he answered that everybody want to win in pageant, so they want to can, and everyone is collected by national director for each country, the best thing, and so I like most of the brother, or all of the brother like a family, but which one is uh, my favorite candidate is uh, Romain Philippines, because he is like a brother, and he is older than seven years and he teach him a lot and he care a lot for during this uh, within this week since he arrived and because he uh, he really got a favor since the on the airplane now he got well because of caring of uh, our president doctor and uh, Mr. Philippines. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sir Mark, do you want to ask another candidate? Thank you so much. And maybe have Mr. Universe Tourism Nepal. He picked Sir Gilbert Sancho of the Daily Tribune. Standard. 
everything. How do you use your being a Pakistani to win the Mr. Universe 2020 title? Sorry, can you repeat again? How would you choose? How would you use your advantage, uh, your being a Pakistani, in winning Mr. Universe 2020? Mm -hmm. well, thank you for the question. I would like to um, use this title just in case if I get any title. I would like to go and train the other guys so they can get motivated for the occasion and uh, they can learn a lot from, from me. Thank you. So much and good job. Thank you so much. Sir, would you like to ask another candidate or call on another candidate? Uh, Mr. Philippines. Sir, you have been Kevin, uh, you came from the strongest tribe here in the Philippines. How would you use your background, um, your experience as being an ego and to win the, the, the title of the Star Universe uh, two weeks in 2019. Being an being eager is just about the strength or just being a warrior, but being a respective, a respective citizen. So as a humble, the humbleness that uh, is within us. As eager us are not just about being a warrior that are brave, but we have hearts that would be able to understand other people's to respect them and to earn their respect as well. That's all. Thank you, Thank you so much. Sir, would you like to ask another candidate? Are you good? Thank you so much, sir. From Manila Standard. Now, may we have Mr. Ian Bernardo? Yes, sir. Would you like to ask another candidate? Are you good? Thank you so much, sir. From Manila Standard. Now, may we have Mr. Ian Bernardo? Yes, sir. Would you like to ask another candidate? Are you good? Thank you so much, sir. From Manila Standard. Now, may we have Mr. Ian Bernardo? Yes, sir. Would you like to ask One million dollars for Miss Universe, Mr. Universe Tourism Crown. I'll choose Crown. Mr. Universe Tourism is not just about being a title holder, but this would be the acronym for King. K meaning knowledge and kind to others. I for inspiration and unique um, intelligence that we are here in the Philippines and we are proudly to promote our character to show the other countries that they can learn from us and we can learn from them. And it's for being a nature lover that we would consider that caring for our nature will affect our economy. And last is a God-fearing, God-fearing country that is nice to be uh, valued by each and every country. That's all, sir. Okay. May I ask the same question, Mr. Sir? Same question. Same question. One million dollars for the Mr. Universe Tourism Crown. Uh, I wish I would also take the crown because uh, as Mr. Mr. Universe Tourism, I should be an inspiration for all the children of the world, and uh, it should be an honor to be to wear the crown. And I would say I come from Switzerland. I speak many languages. I speak French, Italian, German, English. I also speak German. I think, yeah, that's why. You thank you. Yeah. Uh, last time, Mr. Benny, same question. <laughs> thank you, sir. One million dollars. Thank you. Uh, I speak French. <laughs> Please, sir. One million Please. US dollars. Uh, je vais construire des agences de tourisme, des agences de tourisme qui vont permettre uh, et faciliter uh, la venue de tous les touristes dans le monde, dans le monde, uh, valoriser les sites touristiques en Philippines, uh, les sites uh, touristiques en Philippines. Uh, créer du brassage culturel, des cultural brassage uh, entre uh, between uh, Benin and the Philippines, uh, uh, faciliter, faciliter l'accès à tout le monde de venir et de voir des sites touristiques dans le monde de dans le monde. Would you like to translate it in English? Is your English is better? Okay. Are we have an interpreter? <laughs> <laughs> but if I, my French is really not so good anymore, so 
I try. Okay. Can you ask me? How about the question again? Thanks. 
so much. Uh, to uh, answer your question, I think uh, three, uh, uh, all of these is, uh, are important for me and the item is to be uh, the most, I think, uh, honor. Because it to be a man, I have to be honor. Yeah. Thank you. So, you to ask another candidate, uh, Philippines. If you win the Miss Universe Tourism 2019, how would you promote tourism internationally and why? I would be promoting the tourism internationally um, by, as, as my plan in the first year as I reign as Mr. Universe Tourism Philippines, I would be traveling from different countries, promoting their own organic products. Secondly, attending the cultural performance. Thirdly, I would be, if I would be asked as judge, I would judge equally and learn from them. Their traditional cultures, how they would be for performing, how's their hospitality. And lastly is the immersion. Immersion where I learn more of their traditional ways. How would they eat this kind of food? How about their tourists? Would they, how about the animals? their nature, uh, nature parks as well, ecosystem, how to do the reserve it more and understand more about their economy, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Sir? And of course, we will finish all of the papers in the bowl. <laughs> okay, so all of our press friends will be able to ask questions to our candidates. And, of course, we would also like to thank our Dinoong Pilipinas Ambassador of Peace, Cliff Robert Kasumpang from Ifugao. May we have, again, Ben? Meron pa rin. Okay. Jay Patao of Madaya Business Insight. Hello, Mr. The slogan of Mr. Universe Tourism is mental honor, intellect, and substance. How do you rank all three qualities? One, two, three. Which comes first? Honor, intellect, or substance? No, you rank them. Which is most important? Which is the most important for the second? Most important. Yes. Honor, intellect, or substance? How do you rank? Honor. Honor. Yes. Why? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, 
describe your country. Tell us about your country. We do not know about many Okay. Okay. It's my favorite. That will be in my country. For his country? Yes. En pratique, le vaudou. Le vaudou, c'est un truc qui est spécial à tout le peuple béninois et qui se fête chaque année le 10 janvier. Ça rassemble toute la population. Thank you so much, sir, for the question. Do you want to call on another candidate? Okay, we'll have India. He paid Reynold Michael Sanchez of Fantastic Doggers Philippines. Switzerland. 
He helped me a lot about practice me the English language. <laughs> so this is a three candidate answers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do we have more questions or are we good? To our media friends? We're good, sir. You want to ask? Or we're good? Ah, okay. So I think sir would like to ask a question. And then I think we're almost done. Hello. Uh, I want to ask Mr. Uh, Kalistan. Mr. Pakistan, uh, you didn't be allowed to enjoy by being handsome or get your mind. You never made a question again. Uh, do you think by being handsome will get you more in life? You mean? Good looking. Good, look. good, good looking. Look take you yeah. ahead in life? Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for the question. I think uh, looking good is one of the features that will um, take you, like, it will help you grow. It's not everything, but uh, it is one of the features. Because if you look good and people, these days people uh, interact with you. If, you're, if you look good, people will, will smile and they will want to talk to you. So this is the way you get the opportunity for either for the job, either for anything in life. Uh, if, you're, if a person is happy and he wants to talk to you, you can uh, get some good opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. Last question for Philippines. Philippines.
We also have on Saturday, November 23, 2019, 7 p.m. Swimwear competition. It's a mode swimwear fashion festival pool party at the Coral Hotel pool area at the 17th floor. And also for our coronation night, it will happen on Monday, November 25 at 7 p.m. at Carlos P. Romulo Auditorium in RCBC Plaza. Mahati. And for tickets, please contact or approach our VP for Operations, Mr. John T. Morenieses, or you may message, of course, Mr. Universe Tourism on Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to reveal our darling of the press. And of course, to award the darling of the press, we would like to request our rating, Mr. Universe Tourism, Mr. Brata Ramasas Mitao of Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, the darling of the press. Who would it be? Philippines. It's no other than Mr. Universe Tourism Philippines. Come in, Akita. Mr. Universe Tourism 2019. Have a great night, everyone. 